the smite. Oh, I don't think he was able to pick that off. I believe uh, Team Otter got still got it. And now Ken's an overweight pan's in a lot of trouble. He's gonna hourglass, but that's not even gonna matter. Tiki reaction might be a little bit of trouble even if he engages on this. Uh, it was a good try by Overweight Panda. Um, wasn't wasn't quite able to steal Dragon and and, and did have to trade his life. So at this I, point, looking at Otter's items, you know he has two offensive items. He has a QSS to get out of CC. Has his Phantom Dancer looking across the TK raid. Not quite on the same level. Has his Phantom Dancer. Has his IE. He's working on. Uh, that last whisper, which will be his next item, tear through some of the armor that he's, you know, getting faced against. But just the overall team items uh, for uh, Team I Black will just look a little bit better here. Except for individually, I'm Black, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he has his IE, his uh, <laughs> his frozen mallet. You know, he's he's trying, he's trying, he's trying to do his best as a jungle kale. You know, jungle kales don't get to farm very well. That's true, uh, but he's doing quite well. So one of the things that needs to be pointed out is that um, Shorter Ace had a really, really strong start. Uh, I think he was 5-1 and one in some assists. Since then, he has picked up quite a bit of assists, but he's getting burned pretty quickly in team fights. And um, if I mean, if you look at his just just his armor, you know, he's got 119 armor and 146 magic resist. If he pops his alt, he'll get uh, I think it's something like 60 more magic resist. Uh, he'll get armor and magic resist, which will make him a little more tanky. But he's still getting burned down pretty quickly. And I think that's the problem with Jax is that late game, like you have to almost go like. Warmogs, Atma, like you, you know I mean, like it's Gunblade is great, yeah, and that's the thing is like you, you start out damage will help you. It's kind of like, it kind of, it's the same enigma as to me as Nocturne. It's like you want to have some damage in there, but to you know, so you can be effective, have that that burst potential. But at the same time, it's like you have to at some point you have to go tanky because when it hits late game, you you can just be blown up. You're, you'll be you'll be too soft. Oh, okay, that great grab. grab. On to Otter, and Otter will go down. They cannot intervention in time. This is actually a great team fight right now for Team TK Rain. Viger coming in from behind. He can blow up anybody he wants. Who's he going to go for now? It looks like it's going to be Kale right away. I'm Black Kale. Doesn't like him after he's chasing him. TK Rain's going to be up, and uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen this before. I've oh seen this with Team TK Rain before. Rest of the team down for 50 seconds. Now, what will they do with this? Will they be able to take a base turret and inhibitor? That would be huge. Like I said, if you can take out an inhibitor, it's a lot easier to know how to win a game. And they're gonna have to take that inhibitor and beat feet right away. It looks like, still have 30 seconds, just gonna press this hard. They probably should have someone tank this if they can. They don't have a lot of tanky members in here. They're just gonna trade off the, the damage and they're just gonna take down this inhibitor. Once this inhibitor is down, then they're going to just back off, I would hope. Might try to kill Chaotic Fan. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. Malphite is tanky enough. And yeah, that is a huge, huge, big play for TK Rain. Can't stress it enough. Picking off Otter, and like I said earlier, you know, that's the key to this team. If I'm Black Hill doesn't have Otter in a team fight, they basically just lose. There's not there's no damage there that's sufficient enough, you know, to take him on. And that was a big, big clutch play again by the Blitzcrank. Finally faded was last pick for TK Rain. And uh I wanna say this guy has just been Astounding, um, you know, X Steve Y. We, you know, we've heard the legend and the story. He's actually a captain in this event. Um, having, you know, the opportunity to be last pick, win, you know, be on a winning team in judgment, prove yourself, so to speak, in judgment. Um, but you know, these blitz grabs are paying off, and this guy, you know, and, shout outs to him. Yeah, and the thing is too is like you'll play with a lot of blitzes and they'll get grabs, but they'll grab. The, there's so many bad targets to grab. Like it's especially against team. this team. Yeah, there's you like don't want to grab Malphite. There's like you don't want to grab Galio. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Like you don't want to grab Alistair. <laughs> Kale's not going to do anything for you, except for make her use her ult. So it's like there's only one person to grab, and he grabbed them in such a clutch situation where they're getting pressed down. So now they have this advantage. They have a little bit of breathing room if they they can get keep the the middle pushing uh, and prepare for this next Baron. You know, they could make something happen. I, I have a feeling, you know, they still feel like they're really, really far behind. You know, little do they know, they've cut that lead down to only about 3K, and we're hitting it, hitting into the 40-minute 40 40 minute mark. Um, that's not a lot of gold. That's not a huge disadvantage. So the key is, if they win that fight like that again, they have five up, they could possibly win the game again. 
So something definitely to look out for. But the other thing they have to look out for too is they have to remember, hey guys, what happened last time? And it could be the same thing going on here. They're warding up. Wards are going to be absolutely key here. They have vision. They do not see him sneaking around behind. TK Ray might be caught out here. He's going to throw up that defensive ult as fast as possible. They need to beat feet. Get out of this as fast as possible. Disengage. They cannot be engaged on by that team. That team will tear him apart if uh, they're not able to pick off Otter or track him early. You know, if they get all the ults and CC on up, they won't have a chance to even track him, put damage onto Otter. So it's very, very key that they spot this team, get down as many wards as possible. You want wards everywhere. Absolute vision. Um, if you're a team TK Ren. And uh, Baron is up, and they're going to see that this is warded. Oh, no, Blitzcrank did not go in. So they don't know. Oh, they are, now they're going to realize. Okay, they're going to get it out now. They have another war. They're going to toss it in there. Force Sanctify. They might try to grab someone over the wall, but again, you know, grabbing an Alistar, not But you've the best got thing. bot lane and mid lane pushing for the purple team. Yeah, that is a oh. huge bot lane wave. Mid lane pushing. Now they might be able to make a play. And if they see Otter gone, that they should just engage as fast as possible. They should just run in there blindly. It doesn't matter at this point. Otter has nothing. They're actually going to have to uh, Shirelia's Reverie to get out of this. Otter trying to run back now. They actually see him. But seeing Otter away is a big, big tell that, you know, they can't even... You know, they can't even deal with you. If they were able to catch anybody there and start a team fight, it would be over so fast. And now they have to expect Otter is coming back. Now they have to be very careful. I don't like this spread by them. This is a bad spread. They do not want to be sitting in that position. And here we come. Here come the alts. Great. TK Rain was caught. Great alt there by Malphite. Initiating leading off. McKen doing serious work here in the middle of all of this. Boscow being kicked out. Has no burst damage here. Otter at 100% health. And again, that's not what you want at all. I mean, that is... Uh, uh, had the chance there, but now they're definitely going to give up a possible Baron. It looks like they're going to lose another inhibitor, though, in the process. What is going to be their decision, though? Galio trying to run in here. He's going to try to clear out these waves, but that inhibitor is falling very, very quickly. I don't think he's going to... No, he's not going to be able to clear it. They're going to have to actually kill this Baron, but they're going to lose another inhibitor. So actually not so bad for Team TK Rain. And a matter of fact, Otter, again, the only damage here. The other guys, they're, they're swinging, but they're not really doing anything. Oh wow, Will they, oh, he's just not going to be able to follow that up and blow up Otter. QSS though, Otter's QSS is down for the time being. We have another really close match. Um, the What lost that fight for them was TK Rain got caught. And um, as your AD carry with as much range as you do, you cannot get caught in that situation. Um, it's unfortunate. Uh, I think they shirelled it in. He got stunned, or at least slowed. And it was it was all downhill from there. I think part uh, I think part of it is is he got caught. I mean, you never want your AD to get caught. But other part of it is again, it's like it's that first punch syndrome, like I talked about. Like because Malphi initiated, and then Alistar is going to come in, then Idle Durant's going to come in. You can't have that happen for your team because you're not going to be able to do anything about Otter. You have to be free and throw off the first punch and be disabling them in order to be able to put any damage on Otter because Otter is basically free during that entire stack of CC to do whatever the hell the heck he wants, and in that amount of time, you're probably going to be dead. So in that case, it's like it's really like their positioning. I felt like when they fanned out like that and they were sitting in that position, they were basically asking for a Shirelia's Revit and to get initiated on the way they were. So I feel like positioning-wise, they need to be really, really careful. Um, you know how they set up, and they need to have eyes on Otter always. And Otter actually now has a GA. So even if they tear him down really quickly, they're still gonna have to have something there to focus him down after he comes back up. For those of you playing at home on the uh, the Otter Watch 2012, 10, 6, and 10. It's a pretty good store, score. 313 creep stats. And this game is not over yet. The uh, the gold deficit right now is is right now really in favor of the blue team. The blue team sitting on 8k gold, uh, almost nine now 9k after picking up that dragon. And the funny part too is, you know, the kills, they're actually down two kills. But the thing is they picked up so many objectives. They've picked up three barons now, I think it is. Three barons, almost all the dragons. Yeah, I mean... Um, but they're down, you know, in hibs, so to speak. Yeah, and that's that's the saving grace for Tikira. That's actually why they're not getting pressed in and losing right now. It's because those in hibs are down. Um, what I would like to see, they're going to need another Oracle. Um, even though they just lost one, someone on that team needs to pick up an Oracle. Um, they need to be, this is really dangerous right here. Um, well, they know Malphite's nowhere in the fight, but still, a 4v5 with um, could be really... yeah. yeah could not turn out their favorite, so they're going to pick up this quick turret. I like this. Little guerrilla warfare tactics. Backing off real quickly. 
I like this for them, just picking up some more gold, cutting down that lead. Looks like they're gonna blue pill, all blue buyback right now. Looks like 1200 gold for Otter. He's banking, the rest of the team just banking around 600 or so. Might be wise for them to maybe pick, maybe pot up. You know, you, there's gonna be a big team fight coming up here. It might be a good idea for them to be like, hey, you know, this, if we win a team fight or however this goes, you know, this is gonna be the key. You know, let's pot up, guys, and you know, you know, kind of even out that that uh, disadvantage by not having Baron. So I'm looking at these builds. Viger build is is pretty much complete. He uh, he finished that Rabbitons. He's now finished uh, Void Staff, and he's already got his DFG. So in terms of what you want as Viger, that's your build. Um, anything else that goes on that is icing on the cake. I would like to see a QSS on um, Caitlyn. You gotta hope that when you play Caitlyn, you're not gonna get caught. But against this team where they have Idle Duran, you've got Malphite, you've got Alistar. You know, being able to QSS and then flash away, you know, and then have position or 80 caliber net or however many caliber that net is, you know, that's the big deal. Um, because if you do get caught, you're gonna get bursted immediately because you don't have any defensive items. Actually, it's uh, apparently it's 90 caliber net. So 90 there's, caliber. There's net. 10 more calibers in it, so good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but again, uh, um, an oracle would be really strong right now for the for the purple team or a red team if yeah. you're watching in colorblind mode. Yeah, which pretty much I think like I, I almost think Riot should just switch to it because you know if you cast if you cast the game you're always going to be in colorblind mode because you don't want to segregate your audience or anything like that. So. Like, they might as well, I mean, I know they, they've had blue and purple since beta, but they might as well switch it to blue and red now, because that's all I see, you know, when I watch the game or anything now, so. And, you know, unless you're watching, you know, a solo queue stream or something like that, and they haven't switched. So, the Ackerman's going to rotate down here, get some farm. They've kept the lands from stop pushing. Now, the inhibitors are going to be back up. And there's going to have to be another great big showdown. Again, I don't, you know, Otter's team, again, it all comes down to Otter's play and positioning and how they protect him, who initiates first. I think it's really, really important for Team TK Rain to actually realize, you know, that they need to get off, you know, they need to be the, the person initiating, having the vision control and, and initiating first and trying to pick off Otter. He's going to be a hard target, though, with that intervention and all the CC peel they have and the GA. Uh, speaking of builds, Otter's build is complete, minus whatever elixirs he decides to buy. He is completely, you know, bought out. Um, if I'm the purple red team, I think what I'm going to be doing is give up the next Baron and and sh and try to take those two inhibitors and maybe even a base. Um, you know, try to get some wards down. They definitely need map control. Um, you might even be able to send someone. They actually, some there's ability. no wards on this bottom half. They might actually try to come down here and pick off Galio, which would be a little bit unexpected, but would actually be a, a big play. It'd give him a four, 5v4 advantage. There's a guy who's just going to blue pill here. They're going to take the raw... Oh, wow, he's not going to blue pill. So they're actually going to be able to... They should be able to pick off a kill here, which would actually be really big for them. Although he does have Banshee Veil, vale, he does have Righteous Gust, and a slow, so we are going to get to see some jukes. Meanwhile, I think the blue team's going to push down that mid turret i think that's what they want to do i don't think they're going to see a, a fight right now and oh, here no, we go coming for the fight possibly and he's going to turn around idle dread is going to actually be really really huge for his team flash in possibly trying to get off the kill they're not going to be able to do it they need to keep back after putting a ton of damage on the chaotic finale but that's just, just a tanky target that's not who they want to get they try to get in there out of otter otter's 100 percent health up everybody needs to back off run as best as they can try to survive Looks like Kenan might even make it out of this, but Otter is on the warpath, wants to get there, wants to get killed. He's going to run past this turret. He doesn't even care. They come over here, take out mid turret, probably mid and him. Going to eat an ace in the hole, doesn't even care. Going to gain back a lot of that health just on this creep wave alone. Yeah, I'm not sure who made that call, but that was not the right call. I don't think you want to try and chase down a Galio. Uh, maybe if they could have picked him off in the bot lane, but unfortunately he was able to get away. He was able to idle Duran in a safe position, and the other team was able to catch up. Malphite did a lot of work uh, just I stacking those alts. I think the key was, is like, you, they still had vision, like, they still had creeps. They could they should have seen the blue team was making that loop around. And the instant he started running, and it was going to, you know, be, like, uh, longer than, like, a five-second chase, they should have said, nope, let's cut this off short, And but, you know, congratulations to Team I'm Black, y'all. They played the engagements a little bit better than Team TK, right? They played a great team comp, I felt, you know, to play to their team's strengths.
So congratulations so, yeah. to them. They will be going out of the finals. Uh, they will be playing against uh, Team Satsula.